Hey guys, have you ever wondered how you could create passive income every single month? Now I know what you guys are saying, why not just invest into monthly paying dividend stocks? But let me tell you something, monthly paying dividend stocks might not be the best way to go. The best way to go might actually be to invest into growth stocks. Now I know what you're saying, growth stocks usually only pay their dividends every quarter, four times a year or three times a month. So how are you gonna create that into monthly paying dividend stocks? Well, I seen this cool tool that gave us 24 growth stocks that you could choose to pick from to create passive income every single month. Now I say growth stocks because you're potentially missing out on a lot of money. If you invest into monthly paying dividend stocks, let's say 10, five to 10 years from now, that company only grows 15, 20% over the last five to 10 years. Yes, you're getting paid out monthly dividend stocks, but you're missing out on growth. When some of these growth stocks that you can invest into can actually grow by 2X, 3X, sometimes 5X your money in just five years. So the number one rule is always growth. Don't always look at the dividends. You want to invest into good quality companies that's growing that just so happen to pay dividends. And some of these companies actually pay a pretty sweet dividends other than just chasing high yield dividend stocks. And that way you're going to um, miss out on a lot of money. Hey, dreamers, I'm Zeke and welcome to the. <music> Now, this is the list that I seen on Facebook. It's a list of 24 companies, two companies each month. Now, each month pays a quarterly paying dividend stock. So all you gotta do is choose one in each row and they'll pay you out every other three months. But we're gonna go by and look at the list and see which one would I choose personally and why I would choose them and how much would you receive in dividends from each company. Now, before we dive into the video, this video is sponsored and brought to you by a longtime sponsor of this show, Moo Moo. Sign up now with the link down in the description, deposit $100, and you can receive up to 15 free stocks. Also, they have a very special offer going on right now with the cash sweep inside of there. If you're holding cash inside of your account, you receive an 8.1% APY cash sweep interest on the cash that's just sitting inside your portfolio. Now, the reason I love this brokers is because they have commission-free trading, um, early market hours, after market hours trading, and you have access to other markets outside of the United States. Guys, if you want to try Moo Moo, I'm going to leave that link down in the description. Go ahead and sign up, deposit your $100, and receive your free stocks. Trust me, guys, you don't want to miss out on this amazing opportunity. 8.1% APY interest, that's insane. But let's go ahead and dive into this list. Okay, guys, the first one on this list in the month of January is either PepsiCo or FedEx, ticket symbol PEP or FDX. Now, between these two is a no-brainer for me. I'm going to go with one of my favorite companies, and that is PepsiCo, ticket symbol PEP. Now, why am I selecting PepsiCo is because they are dividend kings. Now, what is a dividend king? That means they have increased their dividends every single year for the last 50 years, and, and they are inside the S&P 500, making them dividend dividend kings. Now that means they're able to increase their dividend growth through a recession, a depression, a pandemic, all of that. So you're not at risk of them cutting their dividends. So you can expect that every three months you're going to receive a dividend check from PepsiCo. Now let's pull up PepsiCo and Moo Moo. Here we are on Moo Moo. We're going to type in Pepsi so we can see what kind of dividend yield they have. And there it goes. Pepsi is at $164. And if you look at that dividend yield at the bottom left, it is a 3% dividend yield. That is amazing. Anything Thing over two and a half around three percent 3.5 is amazing especially for a dividend king like pepsico and now when we're looking at the charts we're not going to look at the hour chart we're not going to look at the four hour chart we're not going to look at the daily chart we're going to look at the weekly chart because remember we're talking about growth and we're talking about growth over a long term and if you guys could look at this back in 2019 it was at $89 and right now 2024 they had $91 you will have doubled your money like, remember what I said, you doubled your money in growth from PepsiCo. So whatever you invested, you double that and you're receiving a paycheck from them in dividends every single quarter. And we're gonna select one of these stocks on this chart right here for every single month to where you could get paid every single month from growth stocks. So stay tuned all the way through the end of this video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. Let's move over to the next stock. All right, so in February, we got MasterCard or Apple. No brainer, we're gonna roll with Apple because we're talking about growth. They don't have the highest dividend, but we're talking about growth. And with the growth of that, that's gonna make up for that monthly paying dividend stock. So let's pull up Apple right quick and show you guys AAPL. Click them. 
And yes, they do have a low dividend yield. They have a 0.53. So compared to Pepsi, it's completely different. But Pepsi doubled their income in the last five years. Now we take a look at Apple. <laughs> Apple was at $34 in 2019, and now they're at $200 ish dollars in 2020 with an all time high of $199. Uh, right now, at the time of recording this video, is at around $180. So you would have four extra money. Like I said, you four extra money in five years and, and people that's chasing these monthly paying dividend stocks i guarantee you they did they're not making this kind of profit in just five years from monthly paying dividend stocks where we're chasing growth stocks that just so happen to pay good dividends is apple the best dividend stock that's inside the s p 500 not by far are they one of the top growth stocks absolutely and that's why we're selecting them for february all right, the next stock that we're going to look at on this list in March is either Johnson & Johnson or Chevron. And this one is going to be a tight one because I do kind of like Chevron, but we're going to go with Johnson & Johnson just because they <laughs> they are dividend kings as well. So let's pull up Johnson & Johnson. And I think they have a, I know they have a better dividend yield than Apple. They have a 2.9% dividend yield. And if we look at them over the last couple of years, back in 2019, there was around, um, what's that? a hundred dollars and now they're all the way up to 162 had an all-time high of 176 that is amazing growth almost doubled your money and guess what guys johnson and johnson have increased their dividend yield for the last 61 years so longer than most of us even been on this earth been alive they've been increasing their dividends for 61 years so you don't have to worry about them cutting their dividends uh i did like chevron but they haven't been increasing their dividend yield growth uh, for as many years and that's why this month we're gonna roll with Johnson & Johnson. Oh yeah guys I forgot to tell you about all the other tools on here so of course you can see that but you could look at the overview of these companies on Moomoo Moo, and then you can see if it's a bullish signal or a bearish signal right now on Apple it says bullish so um, there's a lot of tools on Moomoo Moo that you can actually use that I that I use to help grow my portfolio over time so let's move over to the next month okay so in the month of april we got nike or we got walmart now me personally i gotta roll with walmart yes they just had a stock split i just i just put out a video over the stock split on walmart um you could click right here that'll take you to that video to explain exactly where the stock split is but they had a 3 to 1 stock split basically nothing changes about the company but historically speaking when a good growth company like walmart have a successful stock split they usually outperform the s p 500 or the market by six to eight percent over the next 365 days so of course i'm going to be rolling with more walmart in this situation now if we do look at walmart they have a dividend yield of 1.29 percent and if we're looking at their growth from 2019 26 dollars all the way up to 2024 60 dollars you will have tripled your money and also receive dividends every single quarter so of course we got to roll with walmart in this situation and if you guys still want to continue to go back, you guys can see that Walmart has usually been just been growing every single year over the last couple of years. And not to mention, Walmart is also a dividend king. They just became dividend kings this year, increasing their growth from 49 years all the way to 50 years. So anything from 25 to 50 to 49 years is dividend aristocrats. Anything over 50 years is dividend king. Now in May, we got Lowe's and ET. I'm going to have to roll with Lowe's. Of course, guys. There's a trend in this. They are also dividend kings. Let's click on Lowe's right quick. And we can also take a look at their growth, LOW. Now Lowe's, they have a dividend yield of 1.78%. Right now that we're recording this video, they're at $244. And over since 2019 to 2024, they went from around $55-ish dollars all the way up to $251 growth over chasing monthly paying dividend stocks are there good monthly paying dividend stocks out there that do grow yes they are i put out a list about that already but now we're looking at some growth i'm talking about some real growth that just so happen to pay dividends are the dividend yield as large no but if you know what you're doing inside the stock market you're going to make a lot more money from growth than chasing just purely small dividends right so if we take a look at lows right now it's a little warning signal it says it's bearish that means they're a little bit overbought some people are going to expect lows to pull back so that's what i like about this right here they give me a quick glimpse at lows should i be investing into it right now at 244 it's kind of high i'll wait for it to pull back a little bit and then i'll start buying up more shares of lows when i'm when it's at a price i'm comfortable buying lows at 
So let's go ahead and dive into the next month, which is gonna be June. All right, so in June, we have NEE and Johnson Johnson. Since we already selected Johnson Johnson, we're gonna go with NEE. So let's pull up NEE right quick. All right, next era energy has a dividend yield of 3.39%, the highest dividend yield yet since we've been looking at this sheet. I think they've been increasing their dividends for around 20-ish years. And of course, looking at their growth, they had a major pullback over the last couple of years, uh, 36%. That's why I compared to Johnson & Johnson. It's not Johnson & Johnson, but it still has some major growth over the last couple of years from $36 all the way up to $88. But it's starting to have a major pullback. Let's say what uh, Moomoo has to offer. It says it's neutral, four bullet signal, one bear signal. Um, probably going to sit on the sideline for this one and wait to invest inside one of my favorite companies, Johnson & Johnson. So let's go ahead and move over to the next month. All right, in July, we got MDLZ and Best Buy. Neither one of these are my favorite, but if I had to choose just because they have a high dividend yield, it's Best Buy, ticker symbol BBY. Um, let's pull up Best Buy right now. Over the last couple of years, you guys can see 2019, 2024, they had minimum growth, but you still would have doubled your money from $40 to $80, and they have a high dividend yield of 4.72%. And that's why I would select Best Buy for this month um, in the month of July. So let's go ahead and move over to the next stock. All right, in August, I will go with, out of these two stocks, I will go with John Deere, ticker symbol DE. All right, Deere is at $367 and they have a dividend yield of 1.45%, um, $367 at the recording of this video. And you guys can see that growth all the way from $100 back in 2019 to $400. 4xing your money, 4xing your money in just five to 10 years compared to um, these monthly paying dividend stocks. The reason why these monthly paying dividend stocks can't grow as much is because they're too busy paying out such a high dividend that they're unable to invest any of their money back into its own company. When these growth stocks, they're gonna pay you a little dividend, but they're saving a lot of money to reinvest back into the company in, in order to grow these companies. And that's why John Deere was able to increase their dividend. Uh, they have a growth of 4X over the last five years. And if we take a look, um, I believe it's at a neutral right now. It's kind of high at a high price. So we're gonna so we're gonna keep an eye on John Deere and add this to our portfolio when it gets to a comfortable price. All right, in the month of September is Coca-Cola and Microsoft. Gotta roll with Microsoft. Even though I love Coke, I love Coke, but you know, it's, it's not Microsoft MSF. MSFT, MSFT, uh, Microsoft, guys, Microsoft went from $89 to $420 in just a couple of years. They have a low dividend yield of 0.67%. I believe Coca-Cola do have a high dividend yield, but when we're talking about growth, remember the point of this video is growth stocks that just are having to pay dividends, and we're gonna select one each month in order to receive a dividend every single month. That's what we're doing, but we're also gonna maximize our earnings maximize us becoming wealthy by these growth stocks and microsoft is one of the largest companies in the world and i believe they're going to do uh, uh, amazing things with ai in the future making us even more money so i'm going to be heavily investing into microsoft even though they're at all-time highs uh, let's see what the market says it says bearish because they are at an all-time high hopefully do pull back a little bit and i'm able to get some microsoft under 400 dollars Hopefully it pulls back under $400, but if we do, um, I'm gonna go in and buy some shares. So in the month of September, um, Microsoft is the way to go. All right, October, we got JP Morgan and MRK. We're gonna roll with JP Morgan right here, the bank JP Morgan, and pull it up. They have a 2.2% dividend yield there. <laughs> if you take a look at their growth, remember they was all the way back at $90, now they're at $186, doubling doubling to xing your profit just like that so after you double your profit you are going to receive dividends from them every single quarter so you have to have a 2.2 percent dividend yield which is uh, a lot better than apple's dividend yield of half a percent but with 2.2 percent dividend yield awesome hopefully over the next couple of years they could get it up to 2.5 and make us even more money in dividends in the future all right, the next one is either Verizon or Procter & Gamble, and you guys know I got to roll with Procter & Gamble. Once again, Procter & Gamble are dividend kings, increased their dividends for 50 plus years. Uh, right now, they're at $158, growth over the last five years from $68 to $161 from 2019 to 2024. And the reason I love Procter & Gamble is because no matter what 
if you go to the grocery store, no matter what aisle you walk down, Procter Gamble owns something on that aisle. If you, if you walk down the soap aisle, the chip aisle, they're gonna own something on every aisle that you have that you walk through in a grocery store. And a company with a big reach like that and a lot of products like that, I love to have inside my portfolio. I do own a couple shares of Procter and Gamble looking to pick up war more. At the time we were recording this video, it's at $158.85. So if I do see them on a sweet deal, right now they're near their all-time high. Um, if I do see them at a sweet deal, they're just one that I'm gonna go in and pick up more shares of, and they have a dividend yield of 2.35%. And moving on to the last one, which is gonna be in the month of December, it's either gonna be Home Depot or McDonald's. Now this is a real tough one, but I'm gonna roll with MCD. McDonald's on this one because I have actually been picking up a couple of shares of McDonald's over the last couple of months. Now McDonald's in 2019 was around $148 and now I'm down all the way up to $300, doubling your profit in just the last five years alone, which is absolutely amazing. And I have a sweet dividend yield of 2.14%. And that's it, dreamers. If you made it to this part of this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. That is by far the easiest way to help out a content creator like me, and it's completely free. Let me know down in the comment section which one would you choose. Either pick quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, or quarter four, and say, hey, I pick quarter one and stock A, B, and C. Hey, I pick quarter three, stock A, B, and C. Let me know down in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And if there's a stock that's not on this list that you think should be on the list, Go ahead, put that down in the comment section as well. Who knows, I might make a follow-up video, um, a follow-up video to you guys comment. And once again, I would like to thank today's sponsors of this video, Moo Moo. Um, guys, check out that link down in the description. Sign up, deposit $100, get up to 15 free stocks, and they have an 8.1% cash sweep. And you can use all of their tools in there to help you become a better investor, a better trader, completely free. So if you guys wanna check that out, um, check out that link down in the description. But that's it guys, remember we're all about making money on this channel, not just chasing high yield dividend stocks for a quick grab. We're talking about longevity, um, that we're trying to, going to be rich in the next five to 10 years, not just trying to pay a couple of the bills every single month from high yield dividend stocks. We're trying to create wealth now that you could uh, create for generations that you could pass down from kid to kid. But yeah guys, that's all I got for you in this video. I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out, peace.